The mighty Zeus has sent us a message. He has shown us the way to fix all our problems. Why is it that I feel so frightened? How is it that you will have us be freed from the grief and suffering? I hope that the golden voice of Apollo will ring true, and this will make life a million times easier. Our lives have been so difficult as of late. These people have endured unbelievable sickness and death. There are people who are not being buried and people who cannot receive the care they so desperately need. The people are going hungry and have no money to live a minimal existence. The city is ruined and we cannot fix it. First, we need that Zeus will see it fit for our city to rid the plights we suffer. Second, we hope that Apollo will use his golden bows to make our city thrive again. Lastly, we invoke Dionysus, who is a complete stud, to let our city of thieves be restored to the city that you once named. People must regain our honor. What is going on here? Excuse me? Well, how can I help you? I know, like, I'm a celebrity and everything because of all my wonderful actions that I do because I'm so perfect. But I can never feel true pain without sympathizing with you guys. You explain to me what's going on. Hey, people need your help. You want to be famous and be a ruler of our I city? Am. Excuse me! Go oh, on. I forgot. You want to be famous and be the ruler of our city, but how can you be king over a city of death and smoke? I come as a humble person seeking your counsel. We know that you aren't a god or anything. I am. Really? But we see you as a leader amongst our people, considering you totally own the Sphinx. I guess I did. I know I did, actually. I'm aware of the plight affecting your city. I'm not ignorant of your suffering. I have seen how you and everybody is so sick, you know? I used, I used my authority to send Creon, though, to Apollo to get what we should do and instruct it to do. Um, so I promise to do whatever the gods say, though, for you. Thanks. Hey, look, Creon just showed up. <laughs> Go figure. Okay, well, let's stop the guessing. What did Apollo say for us to do? Oh, nice crowd. This was good news. Let's get going. Okay, well, it's going to get worse before it gets better, but it'll eventually get better. Wow, in that translation, there's a lot to be desired, but what's really happening, and what did he say exactly? Okay, okay, fine. I will tell you. We're going to go inside. Well... <laughs> Not really. It's better that they know their fate, you know, as well as I do. It's fair. All right, all right. Fine, fine, fine. Apollo said that there's something sketchy in the city. Okay. Uh, but it's something we all love and respect, so we need to figure out what it is and then get rid of it. Uh, sketchy? So when will we find out about this sketchy thing and what are we going to do about it? Okay, well, we need to kick him out or get even because apparently there was a murder, and it needs to be avenged. Guys, guys. That's so cool. Um, seriously? When? Like, who? Oh, our other king, Laius, the king that was king before you showed up. Oh, yeah, I'm better. But, um, oh, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, I remember him. I, I know that name. Yeah, that's him. We need to figure out who can punish accordingly. Well, that's great, but how do we do that and how do we track them down? Where are they, you know? Well, 
Apollo said they'd be in Thebes, waiting to be punished. So, are they in, like, another city? Are they close by? Are they in here? Like, where? Okay, so, Laius was killed, not here. He went to go see the Oracle Apollo himself, and never came back. That doesn't help us. It doesn't tell me where or anywhere or anything. <laughs> Is it in the next city? Like, how? You know, who killed him? Well, Apollo did mention one thing. Out with it already! Okay, he was killed by a group of robbers, not just one guy. <laughs> right. <laughs> you believe, you want me to believe that he was, that the king, Laius, was killed by a group of robbers? Unless there's some money involved or words that are, you know, traded, then that is completely unbelievable. Well, we would have investigated ourselves, except that we were only a little frantic with the fact that we were leaderless and alone. Oh. So, you didn't take enough time to investigate the death of your last king because you were too worried about some other stuff over here? Oh my god, is that going to happen? It was the Sphinx thing! He came here with his riddles, and we just didn't know what to do. We were confused. I just, we didn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Cut. Well, I, Oedipus, will begin the investigation again. You have me on your side, so you're set. I will be your king and Apollo's champion! I will not rest until the killer is found and justice is brought upon him. I plan on righting the city of all these terrible and evil things. I shall restore peace once again. Guards, go get the people of Thebes, and I will win or I will fail in the process. <laughs> Oedipus will save us all. Yes, <laughs> I will. Give it up. Give it up for me. <laughs> Oedipus!